Believe it or not, I've actually never seen a Pokemon video from Jaden Animations before, and it's not because I haven't wanted to, and it's not because you guys haven't asked me to. I just haven't gotten around to it, and I didn't want to spoil myself if I ever did react to it. But recently, Jaden uploaded her video on her recent Platinum Nuzlocke that I think she streamed on Twitch, and everyone in the Pokemon world stopped what they were doing and went to watch that video. I don't want to miss out anymore, so today I'm going to be reacting to it, but of course, if you guys have somehow not seen the video, please go watch hers first, then come back to see what my reaction is. I'm actually currently doing a Platinum Nuzlocke on this channel, so I'm really excited to see her perspective, her animations. This should be a lot of fun, and let's get right on into it. I'm incredibly excited to finally watch a Jaden Pokemon video. I've been waiting far too long, and the fact that this one is Pokemon Platinum is beyond perfect. Platinum is my favorite game of all time, and I'm also doing a Platinum Nuzlocke right now on my channel, and the best part about it is the series is me and a few friends all playing with different play styles and watching them play through has got me really interested in how other people play through Nuzlocke. Now I get to see a fourth person play in the same game and this is something that's been incredibly hyped up. I'm just so excited for not only her play style but also just the animations, how everything looks. Let's get right into it. So if you're new here, hi. That, that's I've done this before. That, Last hi. year I made a video about my first ever Pokemon Nuzlocke and the game I played in it was Pokemon Please don't Ruby. Spoil it was this. fun, oh, so gosh. here I am again doing another. But this time I attempted okay. to Nuzlocke Pokemon Platinum. Whew. I'll explain again super quickly how a Nuzlocke works. You can only Bobby catch juice? the first Pokemon you run into per route. If a Pokemon mm -hmm. faints, it dies and you can't use it anymore. And you uh -huh. have to nickname your Pokemon so you grow more attached to them. If you okay. still don't understand, that's not my problem. Let's get started. <laughs> it is nice to get the rules out very quickly. And especially since I've done so many Nuzlocke's and so many different variations, it's kind of refreshing just to see the three standard rules get right into it, no extra complications, which I'm very guilty of. I always have to put some extra thing in a Nuzlocke, so nice and simple. Also, guessing this is not a randomized game, I almost always assume at this point Pokemon Nuzlocke's are randomized, so that's actually kind of refreshing too. Oh boy, this was my Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke. Okay. Oh wow. Pokemon! <laughs> so my friend and neighbor Barry is practically dragging me all over the place with his hyperactive squirrel brain, frantically trying to get a Pokemon <laughs> as soon as possible from this Professor Rowan he saw on TV. He drags me out to Route 201 and is about to leave. Oh man, I, I love the storytelling already. It's like, put it's obviously the story of Platinum, but with her own twist on it, making it more fun. The animations are beautiful. Like this is, I'm so excited. <laughs> Up into the tall grass when, hold it. You guys know going into the tall grass is practically a death wish, right? And like that, I have a Turtwig. I named him Turt and immediately used him to bash in Barry's <laughs> Chimchar. I was making my way through the routes, but right as I was about to nab the Shinx I found on 202, don't kill it. No! Nope. No! Not Shinx! I really think Shinx is maybe the coolest early route Pokemon in any of the generations. And it's one of the Pokemon I'm most attached to. Like, I'll never forget the moment playing Diamond and seeing this in the grass. I think it was the last generation where I wasn't spoiled of the entire Pokedex. <sighs> I love seeing the Shinx there. I'm just gonna, I, I don't see the crit. Nah, nothing happened. Everything is fine. So no Shinx for us, but that's all right. Shinx uh, isn't that great this early anyway. Then I come lost on. with our first trainer, the first battle. Let's see how we fare against youngster Tristan and his level five Starly. Oh, oh my God. So in the first trainer battle I ever fought, I almost oh my immediately God. lose my starter to a critical hit. <laughs> Why do I suddenly have a very bad feeling about this? Oh, Nevertheless, man. we kept going onward through Jubilife City where we caught Kronk the Zubat in the cave huh. above Route 204 and Magikarp on 218. She definitely missed a few encounters. Like you go back to the lake and get a Pokemon. I think there was like, at, yeah, the lake, Pokemon before you get to the, the town where you get your starters, one after. Okay, interesting. I guess I'm so used to getting every single encounter. I was a little thrown off and... Zubat first? Oh, that's just weird. I was expecting a Starly, a Bidoof, you know, a, a Shinx, any of the Gen 4 mons. I'm Magic Carp. 
Your name is Poppy. Just outside the city, Barry runs up and demands another battle, so I happily bash in his chimchar again. And it's Harley too. I kept on my way, eventually arriving in Orberg City, and nervously challenged Rourke. I was terrified of his Cranidos, but Turret landed a crit razor leaf and one-shot Ooh. it before it could even do anything. So, so many that's crits. badge number one for us. I made it to Floroma Town and was really excited. I have to say, like, the pacing in this is so incredible. Like, it's it's really, really fast, but it's not fast enough. Like, I don't know, I love it. It cuts out any of the fat. There's nothing in this that could ever, you know, get slow or bore you. The only thing that could bore you is me talking, so back to the video. Because if you didn't know, outside the Valley Windworks, you can find Shellos. And if you okay. didn't know, again, I love Shellos. I ran sure. straight to the grass to get my Shellos encounter. And you did not find it. No way. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to pass up an encounter. So I very depressingly caught the shanks and named it Fine failure it. to vent oh. my sadness and frustration over not getting a slug. No. Well, Team Galactic <laughs> messing around, stealing electricity and this little girl's dad. So I beat up the grunt guarding the door, broke in, beat up the grunts in the building until turd evolved, then found Galactic Commander Mars at the end of the corridor, who I was scared of. I don't know why, but her bashing everyone with the Turtwig is making me unreasonably happy. That That's all. I, I, I just love that. I don't know. <laughs> because she's got a fat cat that hits like a semi-truck. But I had a plan. Back in the Orberg Mines, I caught Dwayne the Onyx, Ooh, and I okay. brought him to the fight because in case things got dicey, I would switch him in to buy time uh -huh. and heal up my other Pokemon. Basically, <laughs> uh, Dwayne was death fodder. Turt took out Mars' Zubat, and when Perugly came out, Kronk plucked off the Orenberry it was holding. Okay. But she got hit Ooh. pretty hard in the process, and since Turt needed a bit of healing before he could get back into it, Dwayne can take a scratch. Look at that. Yeah. Dwayne, is, Dwayne is fine. It should be easy, He's right? fine, guys. Don't pull the, the sad nose for Wait, Dwayne. Wait, what? Dwayne's fine. Don't oh, worry about him. Don't attack. worry about him. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. All right. I'll give him that. I'll give him that. Dwayne wow. gets to live. Somehow. Her team, the levels are so absurd. Oh no. If that is how she goes through Nuzlocks, I am very, very worried. Oh man. I I am excited though to see like what she picks as her second and third Pokemon that she wants to train up. The strategy to use Dwayne is perfect, but right now those levels are that's something scary. When Dwayne was supposed to die, he hung in there on one HP. And you know what? <laughs> I respected the hell out of him for it. I let Dwayne live and Turt was able to take out the Perugly. What a legend. But then I put him back in the box and moved on. In Mount yeah, Cornet, I caught a Bronzor <laughs> named Big Boy, Ooh, which I happily added to the team. And right before really, Gardenia's really gym, Kronk evolved, which meant no mercy for those flower ladies. Badge number Fair. two. We slashed the guard bushes in front of the Galactic Building and ran up all the stairs where we fought Galactic Commander Jupiter. Let's take a look at how that went. Uh -oh. Don't crit, don't crit. Not another crit! Ah, ah, no! <sighs> but, I mean, that won't do... Let's just hit it. Don't crit That's him. crit number three. This is, this is overwhelming. No. Oh my god. <laughs> we finally were able to beat her. But I, I mean, I know a lot of these moves do have a high crit chance, like Night Slash, and I think Razor Leaf too, but still, an absurd amount of crits this early into the video. And I'm pretty sure Gen 4 crits are still double damage and not like the later Gens 1.5, so that is beyond scary. But that fight really knocked the wind out of me. I was Fair. shaking on my way back to the Pokemon Center when this lady Cynthia shows up and is like, Egg? I decided to start training up Big Boy on Cycling Ooh, Road. Okay, I like that plan. And then he died. No! I practiced this game and. <sighs> so before Another you. Crit? Up... Oh man, I mean, a Bronzong. It's not a really fun and flashy Pokemon because it's a little bit more. Def not a little bit. It's a lot more defensive than anything else. But that Mon is so good and it has one weakness! Assuming it's Levitate, which is which is fire in the game that has like no fire Pokemon. It's just, that's so unfortunate. Oh, that's up your anime glasses and tell me that steel is weak to fire, which I know, by the way, <laughs> the reason I kept big boy in was because not only is his defense an iron wall, but he had heat proof, which negates. His oh, he did weakness. have heat proof. Okay. Then he got crit. So first step, I'm sorry, big boy. You never had the opportunity to become a big boy. 
That is fair. I mean, if she did put the Onyx back in the box, I don't know if she had anything else to switch in. So heat proof Bronzor makes a lot of sense. I didn't really judge her for that loss. I mean, I'm not, I am definitely not here to judge someone who does not play way too much Pokemon like me. That's, it's more of a, like a bad look for me than it is her. I mean, uh, losing Pokemon and Nuzlocke's to a crit happens to the best of us and chat's very mean. So I'm not going to join in with chat. At least not yet. I walked into Wayward Cave and found a Gibble. Gibble is an amazing Oh my god! Pokemon. It turns into Garchomp, yes. which is easily one of, if not the strongest Pokemon in the game that isn't a legendary. I'm pretty Adding sure in Gen 4 it is. such a huge advantage, and now there is nothing in my way between that and- Oh, she didn't catch it. Oh my god. Oh my god. And we're moving on. We arrived in Heart Home City where I caught Davido the Raw. <laughs> There's no way this ends well. Steel and Dragon, that's two typings in this game. Gone within like a minute. And I don't, there's definitely not another Gabite she's gonna get. I don't know if there's any other Dragon she could get. And I don't know what other Steel she could get unless she evolved Dwayne into a Steelix, but he seems to be rotting in the box. So I, I'm a little worried. Alts, Kronk, and Puppy evolved. We had a clean Ooh, win okay. against Ventina. And some lady gave us an Eevee I named Milk. Things were starting to look better that now. Milk I could was be leveling great. up DeVito against trainers, and when fighting this lovey dovey couple. <laughs> uh, let's go into Puppy. Get rid of the Buizel. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that is the deadest DeVito You're I've kidding. ever seen. You're kidding. And that's why I hate love. Oh. In came Shrimp the Scyther I caught on Route 210. Some Ooh. good news, on Route 213, Scizor, I finally found come on. a Shellos. I named it Scoop, and I loved it. I loved it so much. I know you're not supposed to have a favorite child, but Scoop was my favorite child, and I wasn't <laughs> apologetic about it. I trained it up, and now we got a Gastrodon. Turt ended okay. up evolving too, so together with Kronk and Scoop, Maylene was defeated, and badge number four was secured. Crobat and Gastrodon is a really, really, really good pair. I mean, losing Bronze or Stinks, but... Gastrodon's not going to go down easy, especially if you keep that Crobat around for a while. So, I mean, still a really, really nice core. And she has some scary offensive Pokemon, like that Cranidos. I think Rampardos has like 160-something attack, which is outrageous. The team is coming together, even with a few uh, unfortunate losses. Outside of Pastoria City, I caught a Quagsire named okay. Lol. But when I went to get my Great Martian encounter, I was trying to get a Yanma and accidentally threw a ball at a Wooper. So now we've got Lol and Oops in the box. <laughs> then I swept Crasher Wake with Milk, who huh. is now a Jolteon. I, it's such a small thing, but I am interested, like... How did she do the Great Marsh encounter? Everyone does that, you know, Safari Zone's different in Nuzlocke's, right? Like, some people go to every little, you know, spot and then just pick one of the Pokemon they find. Or it's just first Pokemon you see. But it it sounds like the first Pokemon she saw was a Quagsire, which could be Dupes Claws. So I'd actually be interested to see, like, that Twitch clip to see exactly what was going on with that. Not that it matters, like, at all. I'm just, I don't know, I'm interested. Like, Safari zones are so different in every Nuzlocke. And with the TM Thunder I bought, and then he wanted to fight. Puppy took out his Sneasel, and I sent uh -huh. out Milk to take care of his Golbat. But Milk decided he wanted to be lazy, and not only miss all his Thunders, but also punch himself in the face. Oh, no. Milk. Milk. That was weirdly synced up. <laughs> Oh, that's fine. You can't. You can't be doing this. Kronk came out and killed the Golbat because Milk was being difficult, but I gave him a second chance and he took out the Murkrow. <laughs> anyway, here's your dusty charm. I went out and caught a Magnemite named C, then arrived oh, okay. in Kennel Lake City where we barged into Byron's gym and demolished his team with Scoop and Turd. Then Team Galactic sets off another bomb, this time at Lake Valor. <laughs> so Barry, Professor Rowan's assistant Lucas, and I split up to check on the lakes. As I'm strolling past all the flopping Magikarp, I run into Galactic Commander Saturn, who we swept the floor with. After that, we nice. To like the scissor. We didn't really talk about that, but that is going to be super clutch in another fantastic Pokemon with Gastrodon. I mean, that in the Gastrodon, Crobat, the weaknesses covered there are beautiful. And then also Torterra, right? Scizor goes with that. You know, it's going to resist ice. A lot of four times weaknesses, but as long as you really know your typings and can hopefully guess what Pokemon might go for ice or fire or grass, like... That's a really difficult core of Pokemon to bring down. 
Lot of video <laughs> left though, but that's a really, really solid team right now. Verity, where we did the exact same with Mars. There was a part where Turt got crit and almost died. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. I'll go fight Candace's gym now, I guess. Now, we've been having some good type matchups with the past uh -huh. few gyms, so I haven't really been nervous about most of them. But Candace uses ice types, which, like, half my team is weak against. Which, you know, nervousness rising. Not only Fair. was I at a massive type disadvantage, but the main threats on our team were her Obama Snow because it hits like a truck and sets up hail, and her Frostless because it'll use the hail from the Obama Snow to heighten its evasiveness with Snow Cloak. Spam double teams, and then just sweep my team. I walked in. I saw the Scizor in all of the pictures being scared of ice types, and she had a lot of knowledge about what the gym's gonna do, but Scizor resists ice, it resists grass, and then also resists Ghost. I think in this generation, Steel still resisted Ghost and Dark. So I don't really know what they could have done to a Scizor. And I'm really worried that the Scizor goes down in this, but I don't... I, I, like, I have no idea how that could happen. I'm really worried now. Took a deep breath, which didn't make me feel better at all, and started the battle. Shrimp took out her Sneasel, and Squook okay. took out her Pile of Swine, almost sure. dying in the process. And then she finally brought out Ooh. the big bad Obama Snow. Since uh -huh. it's Grass Ice type, I taught Puppy Fire Blast. Yeah, I didn't know we could... That's cool. Anyway, I wasn't <laughs> sure it could one-shot because Puppy's not a special attacker, and lo and behold, it didn't. It, 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 it didn't miss. Please kill it. Please. How much is it? It's quad. Do? It's quad. What? No! Eventually, Puppy took it out, but that was absolutely terrifying. Last but oh, not least, man. Frost Last. I wanted to have okay. Scoop rain dance to get rid of the hail so Frost Last's oh, snow cloak okay, isn't activated. But since Scoop was sitting at a not so chill 20 HP, that wasn't going to work out super great. However, since I didn't want Kronk to be in this fight at all, no. right before the fight, I swapped her with Failure the Shinx. <laughs> no! no! Sorry, little guy. Failure no! looked up at the looming death that was Frost Last in front of her. And as I healed up Scoop, Failure was killed in its blizzard. Come on! It's really unfortunate we had to resort to it, but I give Failure a salute for stepping up and surrendering its life to the team. Scoop came out. <laughs> the fact that it's named Failure 2 just hurts even more. <laughs> the What's the salute mean? You've already named it Failure and then sent it off to die. I mean, it... That's what it's best case scenario was. It is what it is. Oh boy. <laughs> Out, got off the rain dance, and after a close mm -hmm. battle, was able to pull through. We won, but it wasn't without sacrifice. We had a moment of silence for failure, the true MVP of the fight. Gone, but not forgotten. We start running through the base <laughs> trying to find Cyrus, but when fighting this scientist. Psychic. Oh no. Wait, what? Porygon 2 freaks Even me out. It is way too powerful, way too bulky, and it's way too... Is it going to be a crit now? Weird. Oh, it's I a crit. I do like Porygon 2, though. Oh, boy. I like a plush of Porygon 2. Very cute. Oh, man. What? 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 No! That's, that's one of the most unfortunate deaths you could have in a Nuzlocke, and it's... it's in my mind, not her fault, but as a lot of people are going to yell, like there's something you, there's always something you could have done there, right? She could have switched into Scizor, which would have easily been able to take you the hit. But like, I don't know, sometimes with Pokemon, you go against so many trainers, it gets a little mind numbing. You know, you're going to be able to live another hit. So why not just risk it, right? You'll take out the Porygon too. The one thing with this one is Earthquake was not a two shot either and Porygon two outsped. So, no matter what, you kind of had to switch regardless. So, the crit was unfortunate, but it wasn't the best plan regardless, but... I, I just want more Scizor, that's all. Just more Scizor. No! Scoop! Bye, Scoop. We lost Scoop! I wasn't okay. Turt came out and curb stomped the Porygon 2 out of vengeance, but to put it lightly... I wasn't taking that too well. So I had to keep trucking and brought Law the Quagsire to the team. With an intense okay. blood curdling thirst for revenge, I stormed into <laughs> Cyrus's room. Fight! Shrimp and Milk took out his team in no time. I snatched his master ball and used his teleport pad to enter the basement where Mess Spirit, Azelf, and Yuxi are all being held captive. Fight! And like Cyrus, Saturn was swept too. After releasing the late guardians, we head to Mount Cor 
the interesting, not the interesting thing, the best part of this video, I should say, is all of the animations are incredible, but every once in a while, like, it just goes to another level. It just makes me so happy. Everything with the scissor was so fun. Everything with Gyarados and the Fire Blast was amazing. I, I don't know. Her animation, animation style is, it it's so enjoyable to watch. I I love this so much. Cornet, because Cyrus wants to go there and destroy the planet, I think. And we catch up to him at the Spear Pillar. Before we can run up and attack him, Mars and Jupiter step in. Then Barry arrives. Honestly, I have no idea how he found us all here. And it's like, <laughs> I'll help. Lol takes out both the Bronzers, Mars is Progly, and Barry's Munchlax. So I thought, <laughs> you know, it was all smooth sailing, right? Well. Wow, Barry. Really doing a lot for the team, aren't you? What could pot? Oh. oh my god, no, it has Giga Drain? <laughs> no. Oh man. No, oh no, oh no. It was a Another crit! crit! I did not know their goal, but it had Giga Drain for some reason, but it also got a crit. So oh I was starting to feel god. bad, but then I started panicking. No, I'm not. Let me go. Okay, I'm there free. we go. Holy crap. Let Get me out of here. Right, what's she gonna grab? I'm sorry, lol. We just got you, and then you died. But luckily, remember when I accidentally caught that whoop oh, yeah. from Yanma? It's time, oops. You are no accident. You're our lucky star who will carry us to victory. We got oops leveled up, came back to Aww. the spear pillar where Cynthia was just sitting there waiting for us, and hopped in. So he came at me. Oops took out his sound <laughs> doom and his Gyarados came out, so I switched to milk. But I was very terrified because Cyrus's Gyarados has earthquake. So if milk Ooh. misses his thunder here, he dies. And milk is notorious for missing his thunder. Yeah, that'll happen. But it hit. I... Another day. He also there took out Cyrus's go. Crobat and Haunch Crow, and Shrimp finished up his Weavile. Redemption for Milk. I, I like this a ton, and it also reminds me, this is very off topic, but Pokemon Stadium, Jolteon's one of the best Pokemon there, but you have to rely on Thunder. And it's the most infuriating thing, because when it works, like in this battle, it works. But when it doesn't work, which it's not going to 30% of the time. You know that going into it. It's just so maddening. Like, come on, Jilteon. I, you can hit it most of the time, but just raise that most of the time to like always. So well, that's not how it works. But like for me, do it for me, Milk. Come on. Cyrus steps aside and suddenly it's just me and the angel of darkness itself. I wonder Here if she's gonna it. catch this. I'm assuming not with how this is gone. What a wild animation, oh my god. This is so cool. Oh yeah, she has the Master Ball, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I threw the Master Ball and like that, it was over. Okay. I saved the world. Now to get back to my gym badges. I arrived in Sunny Shore <laughs> City and started making my way through Volkner's gym. I know he's the eighth gym leader and he's supposed to be tough and apparently he's depressed because everyone who challenges him isn't good enough and he's bored. But I wasn't concerned. We have oops and none of his Pokemon can do anything about it. It's, it's not like true. they have Giga Drain or anything, right? They didn't eject. Oops was just earthquake and everything. Yep. And at the end, I'll admit, I got a bit scared. Okay, don't Cross crit. chop. Ooh, Giga Impact. If you crit Giga Impact, that would be really un... Holy... <laughs> but it's all good. We're all good. And with that, off to Victory Road we went, okay. where we caught ourselves a Gabite I named Flip. Oh, would let's go! Nice to have one, I don't know, near the beginning of the game. So I, you still have one. Cave, you know, but whatever. Better late than never. It's good to have just in case something goes horribly wrong out of nowhere. Oh, no. Flakes is base 60. Yeah, it is. It's an amazing... Another crit. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! Oh, my God. You're kidding I've had some really bad crit luck, like, especially in some of my stream Nuzlocks, but this is absurd. And maybe it's just because I'm seeing everything within 16 minutes, but, like, my god, these crits are brutal. I mean, that was full health Gyarados, right? Like, what are we doing? Man, oh, man. Oh, dear. 
And that's the straw that broke the camel's back. After Poppy died, I stepped back and decided the team we go into the Elite Four with needs to be the best possible team we can build. Ooh, the okay, Elite Four here goes pretty hard. So I couldn't go in willy-nilly just hoping for the best. After mm -hmm. literally a few hours of calculations and research, I settled on a team I thought would give us the highest possible. Okay. So... Only one person really for the bug, dude, but Colgate, Togekiss is incredible. That's great. We have the fire guy. Yep, definitely a lot of weaknesses, but Quagsire and especially Garchomp should be able to deal with that. I don't know, I'm a little worried. This team has a pretty sizable fire weakness, a pretty sizable ice weakness. Uh, man. Uh, this will be interesting, okay. Possibility of winning. I added Flakes to the team in place of mm -hmm. Poppy and with a heavy heart, left Milk and Kronk behind as I brought C the now Magnezone and Colgate the Togekiss I hatched from the eggs Cynthia gave me. Even though I was sad to not bring Milk and Kronk into the final battles with us, they won't be forgotten. Welcome. This is the Elite Four. The okay. battle starts and C takes out Aaron Zeon, Mega, and Vesviquin. Oops mm -hmm. takes out his Rapion and Colgate takes out his Scissor and Heracross. Next up is Bertha. <laughs> Bertha loves ground types, but Turt and Oops had a smooth time smashing through. Oh, yeah, the I freaking... felt a horrible shiver. How do I keep forgetting about Torterra? But things went well. On to okay. Flint. Ignore me. Yeah. Flint has a pretty scary team, but luckily mm -hmm. Oops and Flakes had no trouble okay. plowing through them as well. And with that, we're on to the last member, Lucian. Now, Shrimp hasn't had psychic? much time to shine in these fights so far. I don't have, I weirdly have a terrible memory for Elite Four and the typings. Gyms, I usually can remember all of that throughout the generations, but I always get confused with the Elite Four. And I don't really know the reason of why. I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter because if I ever play a game, I'll just look it up. But I don't know why I'm so bad at remembering that. So I decided I wanted to let her go all out. She set up sword stances okay. and bullet punched everything. Probably yeah, that'll shrimp. that'll do it. And suddenly, I'm at the entrance to the champion. The trainer who's been known to crush dreams in a single battle. And yeah. many still fear to this day. I took a yeah. deep breath. As they should. Things are going surprisingly well. And I don't know how to feel about it. But I looked up, and there she was. At this moment, <sighs> I have only one last objective. Defeat Cynthia. Cynthia, I, in my mind, is the most difficult champion in any of the Pokemon games. It's my favorite because this was always a challenge. I think in Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Platinum. Her team is so powerful. Like, there's a bunch of different typings. A really cool array of Pokemon. And if you're not careful, like, the Togekiss or the Garchomp are going to destroy you. I think she has Melodic sometimes. Roserade. I think she leads off with Spirit Tomb. I really, really love this battle. I'm excited. And three minutes left, so we're really getting into this. She leads with Spiritomb, which has yep. no weaknesses, so I sent out Turt to hit it as hard as possible. Flakes takes out her Togekiss, okay. and then her Garchomp comes out. This is known to be one of the toughest boss Pokemon in the entire franchise, mm -hmm. and rightfully so. That thing was made by Satan himself, and I'm sure even he fears what he has created. I immediately switch to Oops, who's the only Pokemon that can lead us to victory here. I plan Ooh, to put God. it to sleep with Yawn, and then okay. I Scream it until it died. That was oh. our only hope. But then. Oh no. If this thing had ice beam, you had to get that thing in safely. And maybe she did. It wasn't completely clear, but. Man, that's. Yeah, I mean, Quagsire is. Quagsire is Quagsire. It can only do so much. Man. Oops, is crit. And. That was it. Nothing on my team can take a hit from this monster. And even if they could, Nothing? they couldn't do much damage back. I sat Oof. there in disbelief knowing there wasn't anything I could have done. And the battle is basically unwinnable now. I brought out shrimp to bullet punch uh -huh. it so we could get in a little bit of damage, but she was killed. Colgate tried yeah. to chip away at it. He did some damage too, but was crit one shot. At this point, I'd accepted defeat. Only Turt, C, and Flakes were left. Yeah, but what about it's hopeless Turt? at this point. Flakes came out, and against all odds, 
flakes out, sped Cynthia's guard. Oh, there you go. And killed it. I didn't think he could do it. He was two levels weaker, and I just, I, I, I don't know. I did, I just didn't think huh. he could outspeed it. Suddenly, there was a chance we could win this after all. Okay. Cynthia brings out her Milotic, which C took out with a few thunderbolts. Flakes nice. took out the Lucario with Dig. Look, my Earthquake TM Easy. is on scoop, and we all know what happened there. Finally, her last Pokemon comes out. Rosarine. I'm looking at Roserade and I say Togekiss. I don't know what's going on with me, but I do remember having issues with this. I don't remember why, but I feel like I've also had issues with Roserade in the past. Cynthia is, I'm not really a kid. A teenager, I assume, is when I played these games. But I don't know. I had a lot of trouble against Cynthia. And I, I feel like I've lost like a few different times. I usually went in under leveled, but... I'm pretty sure I had a similar run where I barely got through the Garchomp, made it to the Roserade, thought I had done it, and then lost at the very end. And I'm really hopeful that doesn't happen here. And I don't think it should. With Magnezone, I actually don't know how that could happen. Flakes went in for the Dragon Claw, and uh -huh. the battle oh. was over. Oh, it happened! Oh, okay! As Cynthia is congratulating me, a sudden feeling of overwhelming guilt washes over my entire body. So intense, okay. it almost knocks me down. I don't think I deserve this. Okay. Something here isn't right. This wasn't meant for me. Back in the distortion world when Giratina split me in two. How do I know I'm me? What happened in the other timeline where I saw glimpses of what happened parallel to this world, that was me too. Those things happened. Was that the ending I'm destined to have? The world I'm living in now is how I want things to be, but the other Jaden is equally me as I am her. Even if you might think I deserve this dimension, things don't work like that. Are there some things you can't escape, even when you try everything you can do to alter it? I don't know the answer. I may be able to sit on this throne now and thank all the Pokemon that put in everything to help me get here. All the hard work, blood, sacrifices we made, but I don't think I can ever accept this victory. I don't know what ending was meant for me. And I don't think I ever will. What an incredible ending! Are we kidding? What? What? That was... I, I have like chills. This is a Pokemon video. On YouTube! <laughs> oh my god! That was... I mean, it ties everything together. It explains why I was kind of confused going into the Rose Raid. Like, she can't really lose at this point. But it feels like there's a tone like she's going to lose. Like, all of the incredible distortion animations. Clearly, she lost and then was like, I right, we're just, let's see if after the research if I could win. You know, the fire things I was worried about took out the three things worried to fire it looked like. Things were a little bit tougher than she thought, you know, initially. Man, I I guess we'll see what else has happened or happens in the end, but I'm, I'm like blown away. I don't have words. I can honestly say this is one of the best Pokemon videos I've ever watched. I... I have to go watch the other Pokemon videos she's done at some point. So if you want to see those, maybe I'll do those sometime in the future. But this was incredible, and I really hope you guys did enjoy this. This was really, really fun to react to, just as is someone who's put too much time in playing Pokemon. Just growing up, but also making YouTube videos as long as I have. It's super, super nice to watch someone play Pokemon who doesn't play Pokemon all the time. I know Jane makes content on a bunch of different things, and I mean, the story was... It was incredible. You can get so sucked in. The ending was beautiful. I mean, I, I, I could go on for a while, but I should probably end. Thank you, guys. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, peace.